So Ireland, Spain and Norway have recognised Palestine, but what does that actually mean? It means these three countries recognise the state of Palestine within its 1967 borders that includes the West Bank and the Gaza Strip, irrespective of Israeli settlements. It means that Ireland is going to deepen its engagement with the Palestinian Authority, which it recognises as the legitimate voice of the Palestinian people. Hamas, on the other hand, is still viewed as a terrorist entity. The involvement of Norway in this initiative gives the whole thing a diplomatic heft because it was the country which negotiated the outline of a peace deal all the way back in 1993. The formal recognition ceremony is due to take place on May 28th. After that, one or two more EU member states may follow suit. For example, Slovenia is due to give an update to its parliament on the issue in mid-June. What all of these countries hope is that it will contribute in some small way to the creation of a two-state solution. That's Palestine and Israel coexisting together harmoniously. But getting there is going to be very difficult, as evidenced by the condemnation Israel has had of the recognition decision this morning. And Taoiseach Simon Harris drew attention to that himself in his own speech, saying peace in the Middle East is about as far away as it's ever been in the past three decades.